Hello guys, you're welcome back. Hope you guys are feeling good. My name is Bukomi Biki Kran. So we're going to be checking out the example of mosquito in Islam. Let's check it out. Indeed, Allah is not ashamed to present a mosquito as an example or anything that is above it. As for those who believe, they know that it is the truth from their Lord. But as for those who disbelieve, they say, what did Allah intend by this example? The Quran, chapter 2, verse 26. The first question that comes to mind is what does Allah mean when using a mosquito as an example? Essentially, Allah is saying that even a fly is enough to demonstrate mm. his existence. At first glance, you might be thinking, how? Mm. But by doing some reflection, yeah. it will hopefully make a lot more yeah. sense. Yeah. Makes sense. Let's consider that this verse came down 1,400 years ago to a tribe in the middle of a desert. It is only in the last 200 years that science has made huge progress and knowledge has increased like never before. Mm. What we once thought was an insignificant little fly has actually proved to be a phenomenal species full of complexities. Mm. Here are some facts that we have come to know. The mosquito egg is always laid in water. Uh. As the mother lays her eggs, she sticks them together into an array to form a raft structure to stop them from sinking. From there, the eggs turn into larvae that swim around upside down on the surface of the water whilst breathing through a tube, a bit like a snorkel. The larvae then turn into pupae and then break out as adults with the ability to fly instantly. Uh. This small insect that has hatched is currently the deadliest animal in the world. Ever wondered why they have extremely fast reflexes? Well, that's because the mosquito has a pair of compound eyes. Each compound eye is made up of hundreds of mini eyes called lenses that curve around. Each lens takes an image at a different angle which its brain processes. For this reason, the mosquito can see almost everything happening around it at any given time without having to turn around. Mm. Physicists have been fascinated by this and have been trying to copy this system to develop self-driving cars, drones and safety cameras to say the least. The mosquito uses carbon dioxide sensors to detect your breath from up to 50 meters wow. away. Once it finds its way into your room, it detects heat ah. from your body to land exactly where it will start to suck your blood. Wow. This is how they see you in the dark when you are asleep. asleep. That's why when you're Amazingly, fine, you don't the stop. mosquito uses six needles to suck blood in a highly sophisticated manner. First, it removes a protective layer to expose the needles. Then it uses the sharp teeth on the outside two needles to drill through your skin, like a saw. Hmm. The two inner needles hold the cut open whilst the middle two probe around to find a blood vessel. Hmm. Once a blood vessel is found, one of the probe needles spits chemicals to numb the pain and help your blood to flow. The other probe needle acts like a straw and starts sucking your blood. As it sucks, its body separates the water and squeezes it out of its back to pack in as many nutrients as possible. Sounds like a surgical operation, right? This is an image of the mosquito's foot. Wow. It is made up of a complex array of features that protect it and allow it to land on many different surfaces such as water to feed its eggs. As for its wings, the mosquito flaps them about 1000 times every single second to help it fly. Wow. It is clear that this tiny creature we can barely see with the naked eye is packed with many efficient systems allowing it to function and breed. Let's now refer back to the verse yeah, in the Quran. Okay. After Allah presents the example of a mosquito, he then says, and what is above it? Mm. The Arabic used for this, fama fawqaha, linguistically has many meanings, including what is above it physically and what is above That's it nice. in size. Guess what? All definitions apply. In terms of size, well, we don't have to look too far into nature to see that a mosquito is nothing compared to what is out mm -hmm. there. The universe is so complex 
yet so perfect that it is beyond human comprehension. What about above it physically? Well, scientists have discovered that some mosquitoes have tiny larval water mites that live above them as parasites. Allah continues the verse and says, As for those who believe, they know that it is the truth from their Lord. See, as Muslims, we believe that everything around us screams the existence of a creator. In fact, when we are asked for proof, we respond by asking where the proof isn't, even if it is just a fly. Allah then says, But as for those who disbelieve, they say, What did Allah intend by this example? Isn't this the case? Wouldn't the disbeliever credit all of this to anything other than a creator, such as evolution or chance? Wouldn't the disbeliever still consider the mosquito insignificant and unimpressive? The reality is, we are all so used to the world around us. We are so used to how perfect nature is and how perfectly its laws allow us to sustain life. The fact of the matter is, if all of humanity gathered together, we couldn't create a single fly. fly. And if we gathered all of our knowledge, it wouldn't even be a small fraction of what we still don't mm. know. Yet some of us sadly believe that we have enough wisdom and intelligence to deny there is a creator as a possibility, just because it doesn't make sense. Mm. Think about this. To copy just one of the systems in a mosquito, we need years of research and teams of scientists around the world to produce something half as good. Mm. Yet the mosquito is lighter than a feather, can hardly be seen, and is jam-packed full of systems and sensors that allow it to live. And remember, the mosquito is only one of millions of different species that are on planet Earth alone, each one having unique characteristics. Mm. Isn't this verse so incredibly profound? Mm. Wow, wow, I really enjoyed this video. <sighs> See, even the smallest animal, which is mosquito, we cannot create it. That's to let us know the value of God in our life. We should not take God for granted, you get it. So if the Quran can use mosquito as an example of what God can do, you know, people can say, oh, what's mosquito is small. As little as mosquito is, it's something that we can never create. So we should be thankful. We should always, always do what is right. And we should not put us above God. Put God above you. Don't be above God. Don't try to say, oh, we don't know how this came about. You don't, want, you don't, you don't know how our existence came about. You don't know who created us. As long as... You can see the animals, you can see nature, even human beings. It's enough to let you know that there is a creator out there. And we need to give him the due respect and worship him, you know, serve him diligently. Because people, like now, scientists are making it look as if, oh, they can create things. They can, they don't want to do things beyond their power. They want to... It's like they're trying to challenge the work of God and see, okay, let's see. We don't know if there's somebody there, but let's see if we can create this. Even though science keep inventing things every day, they cannot create a, you know, an insect or even an animal. They cannot create it. That's to let you know that God is supreme. And anything God creates is is finer 
nobody can you no know, drag with him nobody can challenge him nobody can you know be above him he is the only one yes he's god alone and this was beautiful i enjoyed the mosquito example even though i'm not a fan of science you know details but i really enjoyed these details very much and it made me understand using mosquito as an example let us understand how powerful god is and how we should we should not you know um we should not be too pompous or we should not behave as if we are god on this earth or or boss people around anyhow as if you are god or we are god no it's not done thank you so much for watching guys if you guys smash subscribe for more like share comment i'll see you in the next one bye